Hello, everyone. I'm going to start by saying a pretty nasty word. So you may want to cover your ears. Or not really. It's not, it's not very nasty. But it's, I, don't, I don't really like the word. It's the word standardized. And what makes the word worse is that it's usually accompanied by the horrendous word test. So, yeah. And students and teachers cringe upon hearing that. Now, please excuse my corny introduction, but hopefully it kind of caught your attention as good speeches should, and it somewhat serves as a transition to my point that um, before I came to the early college, I felt like my whole educational career before that point was kind of like a big, fat, standardized test. And that's a bad thing. But again, it changed when I went to the early college. You see, because before the early college, school was pretty standardized. I took the same classes as everyone else, and teachers always expected the same things from me. I mean, here you are, Mo Diego. Make fours on all your EOGs, Diego. Don't draw your homework, stuff like that. The same stuff year after year. And I won't say that school wasn't challenging. It's just that on we get to you after a while. So this continued for a while. But at the denouement of middle school, I was confronted with a decision. There was a new school opening up called the Early College in my county, and if I wanted to, I could choose to go there instead of traditional high school. The concept of the early college sounded interesting. You take college classes instead of high school classes. But then the early college reps came to talk about it in detail, and it seemed much less enticing. Because, like, what it seemed to me, the eighth grader, was that I would have to go to high school for an extra year just so I could get some credits from a community college and there'd be no sports, no band, or anything like that. And before I graduate, I'd have to complete 150 hours of community service. And that's what they use, the word they use, community service, or phrase. And like, you know, like we were prisoners or something. <laughs> but, you know, there's, there's always that privilege of being part of the first class of the school, of an early college. Each year would be completely radical, and being part of the first class meant we would write the rules as we went along. We would determine our own mascot and colors, what traditions would be made and kept, and how others would ultimately view our school. Our successes or failures would determine the fate of this innovative project, and we'd make history regardless of the outcome. Simply thinking about it was pretty exciting. So, if I went to a traditional high school, I'd simply go through more of that subfine standardized stuff. EOCs, APs, and then SATs. Then I'm up to college. I didn't want that. So, I, so the choice was pretty obvious. Take the road less travel, or in this case, never really traveled at all because it was a new school. And that has made all the difference. So, My time at the early college was even more exciting than I originally imagined. And the original cons, like having to do community service, weren't that bad. Community service was pretty fun, actually, because I was able to complete it by paying murals for the community, teaching Spanish to law enforcement officials, and taking the role of a defense attorney for students at Teen Court. And I also did not stay in high school for an extra year because I was able to pick up my high school and associate's degree in only four years. And, but now, like, I wouldn't mind staying an extra year. This was pretty nice. The only real con I can think of now is that often when somebody asks me where I went to school, and I responded with Pender Early College, they'd be like, what? What's Pender Early College? And then a 15-minute conversation would be triggered where I would have to explain what the early college concept is. But it seems to be catching on. Anyway. The early college really has helped me extensively. It opened my mind, and I doubt I would have had the success I have now if I had gone to a traditional high school. The teachers were great, and my principal was really supportive. Some of my teachers are right there. So it's nice to see that. So um, I'll make sure I, rep uh, I represent my school in all the early colleges well at UNC Chapel Hill as a more Ed Kane scholar, where who knows what I'll end up majoring in. But I do have a goal in sight. I want to be a revolutionist, and that sounds rational, but I just, I just want to change the world for the 